for this evening. Coach, what's the feeling like just when you, you have that lead and it uh, shrinks down? Probably wouldn't make a video for sale on how to finish a game, but at this point I really don't care. We did what we needed to do. Um, we didn't have any timeouts the last minute, 13, I think, so they're kind of on their own. Thank God we just went through four press offenses that shoot around today, and that kind of helped us changing it up a little bit. Um, you know, you just got to have people on the floor when it kind of gets crazy, just to calm and understand. You can run the baseline after a made free throw or field goal. But hey, I'm proud as ever. This team's had a chance. Um, just gave them a chance by coming back and working hard every day and not splintering. And, and it feels special for them to be able to win back to back games and happy for those three seniors. Yeah, and the first, you know, 35 minutes of the game is a different story. What went so right for you there? I think we just. You know, we keep talking about shots on our terms and spreading the floor, making easy plays and change up our ball screens to try so it's not the same thing every single trip. Um, and we, you know, how many assists we have tonight? 13 assists, just trying to share the basketball and make easy plays. You know, and this time of year, you're so, people scout you so well. Your old sets don't work. You need to kind of get into a, a, a flow or a motion and make plays out of it. I know that sounds crazy, but every set we tried to run tonight, they, they take us out of it. And so by spreading the floor and trying to change three, two or three things of, of how we're going to get to the next ball screen with this floor spread, and then guys have to trust each other and make the extra pass and make the easy play. Shots on our terms. It's not so much a diagram of an X and O, but um, just playing for each other. Richard, JD, and those guys did good jobs. You know, if we will get to the point where we'll hopefully three perimeters are able to do that and play off each other. You know, right now with Richards in the game, we really only have him. When we put JD and Richard in, now we have two guys that can do it. So, hey, third night in a row where. And we hold them to 38 percent field goal percentage defense. That's four nights in a row. That's something we've tried from the get-go to to uh, take pride in. And I don't care if it's the last game. We're starting to, to do a better job of it. That's a good basketball team. I mean, Seth Tuttle's as good a five man as there is in the league, just because he can score it and pass it. And if you help from anywhere, they got guys who can knock threes down. And it's a hard defend. And our guys did about as good a job as they could tonight. Yeah, as I said, defensively, you seem to be kind of a step ahead of them for most of the game. How were you able to do that? Well, just Coach Rudder had the scout. He, uh, he had our guys prepared. And, you know, we weren't going to double Tuttle. We were going to try to dig and get him to pick the ball up on a dribble. And then as soon as he picked it up, recover, and then try to build a wall with, with the guy that was guarding him. So. He's going to score some balls that way, but you know, they still made nine threes tonight. But you know, you got to give something up at some point, sometime. You know, bus at two threes, and then we went to switching the, the the four ball screen with him so that we can get through to guarding that action. But then you got Chris on an athletic perimeter, which is not a great thing for us. But hey, we got through it, got it done. Uh, I've been through a lot of these over the years. I apologize for anything. We, we need to be able to finish a little bit better down the stretch, but for the most part, we did a good job. Guys hung in there, did a good, good job on both ends of the floor. Coach, how big was it to have a guy like Early, like Berkeley, uh, hit those threes? His third one kind of gets you rolling in the second half. How, how I'll tell you how big it is, because if he doesn't hit him, his man goes right to the paint, and he is the help, and they're just going to let him shoot the basketball. And so you either have two choices, knock a shot down or get somebody else in that can knock that shot down because his man literally sits in the middle on all those ball screen rolls and that's where the help comes from. The thing that I was happy about him tonight, he mixed up just getting spotted up and then when his man went to help up, he started cutting. And so he's more versatile and we found him on some cuts.
Anything else? Thank you, Coach. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Coach.